the same with the camera. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. I'm scared. Wait. Oh. Just bones it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. The inside is just I, I think I. Oh. I think I. Oh. That's so fun. Wait. I didn't open it. So this is a duck dog.
<laughs> hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys a haul of everything I got. This will also be in a manga haul that you'll probably see that before this vlog, but I just want to quickly show you. So, first I got was Villains Are Destined to Die Volume 2, the manhwa. Super excited to have the second volume and I'm hoping to be able to continuously purchase these as they release instead of just waiting until they all come out so then I don't have to cry thinking about how much money I spent on this series. Next up is a Danme I got Thousand Autumns. This is a new one. Um, very excited. Based on the synopsis, it sounds super interesting. So I cannot wait. Seven Seas once again did an amazing job on these. But yeah, super excited. Next up, we have The King's Beast Volume 9. I think we all know how much I love this series, so I cannot wait to read this. Super excited. Then the next two I got was A Condition Called Love Volume 1 and 2. I wasn't originally going to pick this up, but I caved and got it because I think you guys all know how much I love this. It is one of my favorite shoujo's. And I even have some of the Japanese volumes because I did read this through scans originally. So I'm very excited. I will say the texture of the manga volumes are a bit different. This one's definitely more of a smoother. This one's definitely more grainy. But I'm very excited. By far one of the cutest couples. Last thing I picked up was In the Clear Moonlit Dust. These releases have been super fast, but I'm honestly not complaining. And look at them! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Now that I have all three, I'm planning on doing a nice little binge read. But yeah, that is all the manga I got on today. Oh, this is so cute. 